17, order the numbers below from least to greatest. I think the best way to do that is to make them all look alike first. So try to convert them all to decimals, and then you can easily compare them. Now the square root of 3, if you square, uh, sandwich the square root of 3 between perfect squares that you do know, you know the square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 4 is 2. So the square root of 3, it's going to be pretty close to 2, just a little less than 2. Let's just, for giggles, let's just call it about 1.8 for right now. We don't need the exact number because in the end we want to write the answers, or the numbers as they were given to us. 5.5 is already written as a decimal. Negative square root of 16. The square root of 16 is 4. The opposite of that would be negative 4. We've got 0, and then we've got negative 3 halves, or negative 1 and a half, negative 1.5. So looking at our list here, the biggest negative, the least number up there is negative 4, which they wrote as negative root 16. Any other negatives up there? Oops, this was a negative 1.5. So negative 1.5 is our next biggest negative. They wrote it as negative 3 halves. Then we start to get towards the positives, but not before hitting 0 first. And we look at our positives. The smallest positive is about 1.8, but that was uh, square root of 3 they gave it to us as. And the biggest number up there was 5.5, which they wrote as 5.5.